Hello friends, welcome to PHP video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we understood what is PHP. PHP is one of the most popular open source server side scripting language, especially meant for developing web applications. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss brief history of PHP. We begin with HTML. To create well formatted web documents, to format web pages, in the year 1991, Tim Berners-Lee developed HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is a structural language for web pages. Using HTML, we code structure of web pages. HTML is a language for formatting web pages. HTML has limited design capabilities. We can't be able to create most appealing and well-designed websites using only HTML. Hence, we take help of CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. To create most appealing and well-designed websites in the year 1996, Hakan William Lee developed CSS. CSS is a presentational language for web pages. Using CSS, we code presentation of web pages. CSS is a language for reformatting web pages. We can't be able to create interactive websites using only HTML and CSS. Hence, we take help of JavaScript, which is a client-side scripting language. JavaScript codes get executed on client machine by the browsers. To add behavior or interactivity to web elements, or to create interactive web pages in the year 1996, Brandon Each developed JavaScript. JavaScript is a behavioral language for web pages. For example, in a slideshow, if I click on the left button, previous slide should get visible. If I click on the right button, the next slide should get visible. If I double click on a close button of some web element, that web element should get collapse or hide. If I scroll, some animation should get play. With the help of JavaScript, we can add interactivity or behavior to HTML elements. That is not possible using only HTML and CSS. We take help of JavaScript to add behavior or interactivity to web elements. Or to create interactive web pages, we take help of JavaScript. HTML is a structural language. CSS is a presentational language. HTML is a formatting language. CSS is reformatting language. JavaScript is a behavioral language. We can't be able to create real-time dynamic websites using only HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Hence, we take help of server-side scripting languages like PHP. PHP is a server-side scripting language. PHP codes get executed on the server or the remote machine. What are real-time dynamic websites? The data or the information is going to get changed or updated dynamically at real-time in real-time dynamic websites. For example, Facebook, a social network, banking systems, college management system, hotel management system, or some or other business management systems are all examples for real-time dynamic websites. Online reservation system, ticket booking, they are all examples for real-time dynamic websites. What happened there? Actually, on real-time, the data is going to be received or gathered from the user through the some forms or any input fields. The data is going to be gathered and stored in the database. And that data is going to be retrieved whenever it is required to process. After processing the data, the information is going to be generated. With that information, the business people are going to make optimal decisions. They can set up future goals, etc. With the help of JavaScript, we cannot communicate with databases. JavaScript has no ability of communicating with file systems. So we take help of PHP. To create real-time dynamic websites in the year 1996, Rasmus Leldorf developed PHP at Zend Technologies. PHP is implemented in C and C++. Initially, Rasmus Leldorf wrote PHP to maintain his personal homepage. That is, maybe you can say his blog. Later, extended it to communicate with databases, file systems, and work with web forms. 
and called this implementation as PHP or FI that is personal home page or forms interpreter. Later the name changed to PHP stands for hypertext preprocessor. So with the help of PHP, we can communicate with database, we can communicate with file systems, we can get the data from web forms, store them in the database, retrieve them and get the information out for decision making. The stable and latest release is PHP 7.1.6 released in 2017. I hope you guys have clearly understood the brief history of PHP. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly. For this video tutorial, I think this much is enough friends. I suggest you people to remember this point that to create real time dynamic websites in the year 1996, Rasmus Lerdorf developed PHP at Zen Technologies. With the help of PHP, we can communicate with databases, file systems, work with web forms. PHP stands for Hypertext Preprocessor. In the next video tutorial, we get more information on PHP. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.